Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Next Tech's channel. We're sitting here once again with Evan, and hot off the presses is a really exciting news release. Evan, I hand it over to you. Thank you, Michael. So uh, today we announced that we're integrating our HoloX creator platform into Microsoft's HoloLens 2. It's a big deal. It's a long time coming. Um, I've been waiting to be able to come to market with an augmented reality solution that works in the AR glasses. AR glasses, as everybody should know, it's basically a computer built into your glasses. It's the next generation of phones. In the future, you will not have a phone. You will have your phone built into the glasses. You'll have little earbuds in your ear and you'll be able to talk and see and interact through your glasses. And so HoloLens is Microsoft's uh, first uh, product. It's essentially for enterprise. And that's where we uh, live and breathe. That's our playground as well. All of our clients are enterprise clients. We don't have any uh, B to C. Everything we do is B to B. And that's why HoloLens is the perfect platform for us to launch because it's not for consumers. The actual HoloLens glasses um, cost many thousands of dollars. And so the typical consumer is not going to be buying that. And so when you look at what we're bringing to the HoloLens ecosystem, HoloX is going to give the ability to create holograms on demand. And that is super, super exciting. And we think a big business opportunity for the people that are in uh, the, the HoloLens. So if you look at uh, the people that are actually using HoloLens, it's medical, um, it's device uh, training companies, and it's the military. Military is really, Michael, the biggest um, yeah. user. And so you think about um, being able to live stream a general onto a battlefield situation, or it could be a colonel or a lieutenant, whoever's running the military operation, right? So he's able to live stream himself or herself onto the battlefield into the field of vision of all the soldiers simultaneously live and give direction. Or it could be a training mission where you have the trainer that's not on the battlefield, that's literally visible to uh, the trainees, or you could have, uh, let's say, a soldier in another part of the world um, on a base somewhere, and his wife is, you know, back home, and, um, you know, they miss each other, so she could live stream herself, or he can live stream uh, right into the the tent, or, um, you know, wherever, wherever that person sleeps. So, the, the use cases are limitless. You can also have, um, you know, let's say uh, an expert, let's say, you know, you have, I mean, just here's like a general use case for the general public. This would be when it turns into a consumer product. Um, you literally could have some uh, expert, whether it's uh, electrician or a plumber or, or what have you, that's remote, get beamed into your location and actually give you um, really valuable advice and direction um, using this technology. So it, it's very versatile. It basically allows anybody to be anywhere, anytime they want. That's magic. Yeah, I mean that's uh, the straight out of sci-fi, beam me up, Scotty kind of stuff there. And um, like you said, it's 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 limitless. Like you you can think of so many so many operations this could come and play for. So many things that would save lots of people money and being like, hey, okay, well I'll get you here instead of having to fly an expert from halfway across the world over. I can just get you here right now with this with this program. So tell me more about this uh, teaser video you guys got out now. This twenty five second thing. We'll have a link to it below. Just uh, give us give us the update on that. Yeah, so the idea of the teaser video was just to kind of um, tease, <laughs> you know, it was, it was to show you what's possible. It, it really, it's not a full on video. It's just like, okay, um, there'll be some uh, uh, finger um, hand tracking 
that that the you know that the hololens device comes with and so you'll be able to kind of direct where your hologram goes with those hand tracking uh devices and so it's really just a, a very simple way to show what's coming it's not a full-on demo of the mm -hmm. tech it's it's really just showing a person with the hololens on and then showing them kind of direct where they're going to put their hologram and in the video if you watch the video it's um a girl uh who's you know an entertainer and so it's not you know it's not necessarily related to business like we were just talking about or the military um it's really just you know again a teaser yeah yeah that makes sense but i do implore everybody go check that out we'll have a link to that below as i mentioned before last but not least tell me about some of the other companies you could see this working with you had mentioned in the news release facebook snapchat apple google plenty of companies can you give us some more information about that sure so right now the, there's a, a a race on a race to be first to market for a consumer uh, pair of glasses, AR glasses. The, again, HoloLens is really B2B. And so the consumer glass is going to be a big deal. And we think that um, our HoloX technology will work really, really well with the Snaps uh, spectacles, which will be coming out with um, the, the Lenovo glasses, the Facebook glasses, the Google glasses, the Apple glasses. So this is really just the first step towards integration with all the platforms, all the glasses that are out there, because we really do see our HoloX technology as a real must have for every one of these platforms. And just to be clear, Michael, our HoloX tech is the only tech that I'm aware of that allows you to create human holograms on demand, no green screen, no special equipment. Uh, you just use your cell phone and that's it. And our, our hollow X app. Um, and, and that's it. So it's a big, big deal, uh, because we have a first mover advantage and it, you know, if you, if you read, uh, Gartner, Gartner says that it's going to be a $135 billion industry um over the next decade or so wow yeah i mean it's always great to be the first mover when it comes to situations like this in technology so congratulations on that and like you said everyone's going to be looking after stuff like this everyone's aiming for it. everybody's interested in ar the potential the potential of the versatility is, is kind of limitless at this point right now you're targeting business which is a great move they'll be the first people to implement it because right now it's pretty expensive to get your hands on some hollow lenses but over time that cost will come down and the amount of applications will increase. So Evan, congratulations on this release. Anything else you wanna add before we go? Yeah, I'll just add that um, we're developing this tech. This is still, um, right now we're going into beta for HollowX. And so in September of 2021, you know, around 60 days, this should be live in the HoloLens. And that's when it gets really interesting, right? So we're mm -hmm. building the tech in and once it's live we will be back with you again talking about our technology and that it's in market live and by that time we expect to have some customers uh signed up and using it as well wonderful well evan thank you for coming on and thank you everybody for watching if you have any questions about the tech or anything else with the company let us know we'll happily dive into it for you but until then stay tuned for more news coming soon evan have a wonderful day you too, Michael. Thank you.